Perfect. Perfect. <clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. My office is uh, still in shambles, which is why I'm in my, uh, I don't know, kitchen, living room area. Anyway, that's not what's important. What's important is this today. First of all, happy Monday to you. But what we're going to do today is we're finally, 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 finally going to build the recurve dual RDA. I feel like I owe Mike Vapes like a little bit of an apology. This has just completely fallen off my radar. There's just been so much going on. And this recurve dual RDA, it's been it's been basically just sitting on my desk. And it's one of those things that it just sits there and I keep looking at it and I keep going someday, soon, soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe the, maybe this weekend. Like I keep making excuses. Maybe this weekend, little recurve dual. Maybe Mike, just hang on. Maybe this weekend, maybe in a few days. Today, today is the day. And I feel like I owe it to the recurve duel to give it an honest look because I enjoy so much of what Mike's vapes, Mike, Mike the vapes, I enjoy so much of what Mike vapes releases. I love the recurve. I love the rebirth. I love the rebirth RTA. I like his recurve squonker. So yeah, recurve duel, as soon as it was announced, as soon as I saw it out there on the market, I was instantly, like, instantly, instantly, uh, what, what, what word am I trying to do? Instantly like drawn to it. Like instantly my interest was piqued. I went, oh, he did a recurve duel. All right. Well, let's, let's see what you got, Mike. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. And here we go. It's just the recurve duel. I'm just going to be pulling it out of the packaging. We're going to be looking at everything on the inside. We're just going to be doing it a little bit. Uh, you know, we're doing a little bit of building with it today, but it comes in that Watofo clear plasticness, and then you have your recurve dual RDA on the inside. We're actually going to be putting this on top of a uh, what is this? Top side, top side solo. The top side, the the the. In my opinion, the superior top side. The top side with the single 21700 battery on the inside. Recurve dual top side. Ugh, I think this is going to be a dope dope combo. So first things out of the gate, 810 drip tip, similar airflow as the original recurve and that, uh, you know, it's got those holes, those kind of, I don't know, people call them like honeycomb holes or honeycomb airflow. I, it's, it's just holes. It's a series of holes. It's a row. It's two rows of holes. And ugh, when you get this off, it's going to look a lot like the original recurve. It's kind of got that little uh, postless deck design right there. It's kind of got that little cradle sort of design. So your coils are just kind of kind of fit in here like that. Airflow on both sides. What is that? Six holes, six holes there on both sides. And I just want to say uh, right out of the gate, uh, kind of right out of the gate. Before we get real, real, real far into this, I haven't watched any reviews for the Recurve Duel. I have not watched Mike's like announcement video for the Recurve Duel. It's something that's something that I don't, I don't know, I kind of rarely do that. Maybe I just like living dangerously. Maybe I just like going in blind. We're just going in blind here with the recurve dual RDA. But yeah, so pretty straightforward. Uh, what are those Phillips head screws there on the side? Postless design. It does not come with the squonk pin installed. And since I'm going to be using it on a squonker, I do want that squonk pin installed. So I'm assuming this comes with all of the tools that I need. There's a spare drip tip that looks uh, like a smoky drip tip. It honestly looks like the drip tip from the original, uh, the original recurve, which I actually really, really liked. It's a nice, nice smoky drip tip. Tools in here. Oh yeah, there's some, uh, there's some literature. It looks like it comes with some sort of uh, tiny little. Oh, that is fancy. Would you just look at that? That is very, very interesting. So this one says four millimeters and these are all one millimeter one millimeter oh so you can measure it's like a little adjustable coily tool shit okay that's awesome that's very very cool there are coils in here too yeah spare stuff there's my squonk pin there's some coils i'm just going to install these coils i had some coils set aside that just said alien on them, but if we have coils from Watofo that are gonna come out a little bit higher resistance, then we're gonna probably try to install those coils on here. The first thing that I think I have to do is get this out of here and install the squonk pin. Get 
yep, there you go. Easy enough to install the squonk pin. So I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna grab these Watofo coils, and I'm not gonna go over kind of every step of it as I go along. But I'm just gonna be installing them. You gotta back out the screws, drop your coils in, screw the screws back down. We're gonna pinch it, we're gonna pulse it, we're gonna wick it. So let's do the damn thing. Got the coils all installed, went uh, fairly easily, just kind of measured them, dropped them right in, screwed the screws down, It's just wiggle them into place. You kind of give them a little bit of a strum, but they're glowing evenly. I'm gonna wick it up now, and I know that lately all I've been using is Cotton Bacon Prime because it's a great cotton. I think it's an unbelievable cotton. They're a sponsor of the podcast, but it is all around kind of my favorite cotton within vaping. Decided to rock it a little bit old school today and found some uh, Japanese organic cotton in the pads. So I'm gonna be using the cotton pads today, which I just haven't used in a really long time. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I got it all built, I got it all wicked. I don't remember exactly what liquid is in this particular liquid bottle, so I'm just gonna give it a squeeze and see if we can see some of this uh, hot squonking action. Oh yeah, it does the same thing. It does the same thing that the original recurve did in that because there's that little cradle in there and your, your coils are right here and you got that little cradle of airflow. When you squonk it, the liquid just comes up right through the middle of your coils, saturates the whole chamber, and then just kind of drains itself out. And because of the way that Mike did the airflow on both the recurve and the recurve dual, that little cradle, that little cradle of airflow, you can squonk your liquid, you can fill that little chamber, and because of the airflow holes on the side being a little bit smaller, I think they're one millimeter, one and a half millimeters, it kind of, the surface tension keeps all your liquid right there. So even though the liquid is kind of covering the airflow and you can see when I squonk it, it kind of squonks up, covers the airflow and then comes back down. Comes up, covers the airflow and then comes back down. Just clears it all out. The surface tension keeps your liquid in place and what it, what it translates to is a very saturated, saturated coil and a very, very saturated, saturated wick. I literally just built this and all I've done is give it like three or four squonks. I can press the button. Well, I may mean, need to adjust the wattage first here. There you go, 0.13 more at 60 watts. Yeah, I can just press the button and uh, I know that it's saturated and I know that it's wet and that is some uh, that is some real, real nice hot squonking action. The only thing that concerns me and I don't know if this is a problem that I'm gonna run into in the future or anything like that, but the only thing that concerns me is if you look down into this recurve dual, you see in between the coils, that's your little uh, squonk hole. That hole right there goes directly to your bottle. So when you squonk it, it's coming straight up at you. There's just an exposed hole kind of coming straight up at you. In my experiences in the past, when your squonk hole is kind of facing right at you, when you get down to the end of your bottle and you're giving it a squeeze, it can, I mean, it can literally jettison liquid like straight out of your RDA, straight out of the drip tip. Maybe something just to be aware of. I don't, I'm not saying it's gonna rocket liquid at your face every single time, but it is kind of just something to be aware of. There's rarely ones that just squirt directly up at your face and, and that's the reason why. I think we're gonna be okay because the coils, the way I positioned them, you can kind of position them in, in, in more in front of that sort of uh, that sort of squonk hole. Anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pop this 
AFC, or not the AFC, the top cap back on here. And this can only go on one way. There's, I know for sure there's notches and tabs. You just need to find said notches and said tabs. There, I see the tab over there. Why don't I see the notch on the deck, Mike? Why don't I see the notch on the deck, Mike? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's because there is no notch. Okay, there is no notch. There is no notch. There are two tabs on the inside of this, but those tabs come out and they they stop the AFC on the sides of the airflow cradle. That's that's how this whole thing works. And I'm going to use the old school smoky drip tip on there because I like it and I think it's much more comfortable. Same idea as the original recurve. Your AFC is the top cap. So like I said, there's those tabs in there that are going to stop it. But boop, now you can adjust it. You can adjust it this way. You can close off. Ooh, that's down to two airflow holes. You can change it down even, ooh, even tighter. You can really tighten it up. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right, well, I'm just gonna leave this full open right now. I've got it set to uh, 60 watts. It's a 0.13. I believe I, I recognize the aroma of this liquid. I think this is the Ducks Nuts from Bogan. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, uh, vaping awesome, vaping great. Coils taste good. The airflow is maybe a little bit too open for me, full open. It's real swooshy. It's real smooth and swooshy. I'm gonna turn this up to about 70 watts now with this 0.13. I think that's gonna be a little bit better. Let's leave it full open for now. Let's try that full open again. Really nice, really, really very nice. Real smooth airflow, real swooshy airflow, delicious tasting RDA. I like the little airflow cradle in there. I like that how Mike has smoothed out this airflow. The deck's fairly easy to build on, but it's made fairly easier by the inclusion of this little fancy, fancy tool. One last thing before I just keep praising this recurve dual is I'm gonna close the airflow down to just four of the six holes. I tend to like a little bit more restricted of an airflow, just a little bit of restriction there. I wanna see if it remains smooth, but I wanna see if I can get some more restriction out of it. Let me give it a big old hefty squonk before I take a pull on it here. Let's leave it at 70 watts as well. Yeah, it's awesome. That's an amazing airflow. The six holes close down to four. That's a that's a really nice airflow. Yeah, recurve dual. Dang, uh, I knew it was going to be easy, easy to build. It was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be easy to wick. It was a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I knew I'd have to change out the squonk pin, but that was super easy to do as well. And I knew, I know, I just had a feeling that when I get this built and wicked and vaping it, it's going to deliver for me, and it's delivering perfect. This is this is basically a dual coil version of the Recurve RDA. If you like the Recurve RDA original, like I like the original Recurve RDA, and you're looking for a dual coil version of it, dude, the Mike Vapes Recurve Dual RDA. That it, that is the only game in town. It's the only dual coil version of the Recurve RDA. Shit, I'm really enjoying this. Really, really, very, very much enjoying it. Mike, I think you did a great job yet again. One of these days, man, one of these days, Mike's gonna have a clunker of a product and I'm gonna, I mean, that's gonna be a bummer for Mike, but I'm, maybe I'm kind of gonna enjoy it because I'm sick of Mike uh, releasing... I'm sick of Mike releasing so many damn good products. Just kidding. How could I possibly be sick of that? Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links are not allowed in the description anymore. Thanks a lot, YouTube. You're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and no matter what's in your hand, you guys, let's keep on vaping.